Hey, so today it's going to be about the Queen not being at the Commonwealth service. So I hope you like the video. If you do like the video, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, you know, subscribe. Come on. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So yeah, people wonder uh, what's going on. Why won't she be at the Commonwealth Service? How frail is she? And is she too frail to continue to perform her duties? I mean, her mother lived till she was 101, but how was her mental capacity at that time? We really don't know. We know what we saw on TV, but we don't know in person. So that's what we'll look at with this. So you know, I wikied a little bit about this holiday, and I'll tell you what I found out. Um, in 1898, a Canadian, Clementina Trenholm, introduced Empire Day to Ontario schools and it was the last school day before the 24th of May which was Queen Victoria's birthday so Empire Day or Victoria Day uh, was celebrated in 1904 officially Empire Day was introduced in the UK by Reginald Brabazon the 12th Earl of Meath and his quote was to nurture a sense of collective identity and imperial responsibility among young empire citizens. Then in 1925, 90,000 people attended an Empire Day Thanksgiving service held at Wembley Stadium as part of the British uh, Empire uh, exhibition. Then 1926, the politically partisan Labor Party passed a resolution to prevent the further celebration of Empire Day. 1958, after World War II, the event fell into decline and Prime Minister Harold Macmillan bowed to the inevitable on the 18th of December. He announced in Parliament that Empire Day would be changed forthwith to Commonwealth Day. In 1973, a proposal by the Royal Commonwealth Society selected the exact day to be the second Monday uh, in March. And then let's see, before 1997 in, in Hong Kong, Commonwealth Day was a school holiday. Uh, so, you know, remember uh, the Brits had a 99 year lease on Hong Kong. So prior to 1997, it was a school holiday in Hong Kong, not in China, in Hong Kong. Then the transfer of sovereignty to the, of the colony to the People's Republic of China uh, ended 156 rules of, uh, years of British rule. And Hong Kong was reestablished as a special administrative region of China and partially maintains distinct economic and governing systems from mainland China. But uh, Chinese influence increased after uh, passing in 2020 the Hong Kong National Security Law. Now back to Commonwealth Day, the Union flag is flown from uh, UK public buildings and the Scottish Parliament building on the second Monday in March. The Queen and other royals attend a service at Westminster Abbey. A wreath is laid at the Commonwealth Memorial Gates in London for the sacrifices of Commonwealth soldiers. soldiers. And then just to mention the Jubilee uh, 2022 on the 6th of February this year, Her Majesty the Queen became the first British monarch to celebrate a platinum jubilee 70 years of service to the people of the united kingdom kingdom and the realms of the commonwealth so unprecedented anniversary events and initiatives will take place throughout the year culminating in a four-day uk bank holiday weekend from thursday to the second sunday uh, the 5th of june and the bank holiday will provide an opportunity for people throughout the United Kingdom to come together to celebrate the historic milestone. Uh, the four-day celebrations will include national moments of reflection on the Queen's 70 years of service. And I think that's amazing. So let's uh, see uh, what the cards have to tell us. Okay, so this is going to be the Queen not being at the Commonwealth service that she always attends. So what's the story? with that the Queen missing the Commonwealth service what is that about what can the cards tell us about this unusual situation I mean the Queen just doesn't miss those uh, services they're important to her but um, instead uh, I guess it's Charles and uh, Camilla um, so what can the cards tell us about the Queen missing that Commonwealth service. What can the cards tell us about the Queen missing that Commonwealth service? But first, 
Let's have a moment of meditation. see what we have here. So this uh, should probably be a full Celtic cross, but I'll start with six cards, and if that doesn't seem to be sufficient, then we'll do the last four. A uh, uh, full Celtic cross is ten cards, and a dyadic cross is just six. So we'll start with the dyadic cross, and knowing we can expand it if we need to. So the Queen, not attending the Commonwealth Service cards, what can you tell us significant about that? And these cards have been jumping out of my hand here in big clumps. So that's interesting. So six cards to begin with. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Queen, why, why, why? Or will tell us anything the cards can let us know about that situation. Signifier card for the Queen missing the Commonwealth Service, the Hierophant. Okay, this is a very good, uh, very interesting card to get for the signifier of this because we're wanting to know anything we can about why does the queen miss this very important service. It's a, it's an uh, official function of hers, um, and uh, and we get here the hierophant. Now the hierophant is the structure by which a thing uh, is uh, ruled. Uh, it could be government, could be the monarchy, uh, it could be just simply the rules in your house or the rules. Uh, in your job, uh, or the rules to uh, to do anything that you're doing, but this is the hierophant. I'm going to say this is either the government or this is the monarchy. That's the signifier card. The queen missing missing the uh, Commonwealth Service. The challenge to it, King of Cups. Okay, the challenge to the queen missing this is the King of Cups. And recently, this has come up for me as Charles. So I'm going to say that tentatively for now, that uh, this is the King of Cups, this is Charles. So the, uh, the Hierophant uh, has to do with the government or the monarchy, and, uh, and this is Charles. Probably the monarchy, but we'll see. The base of this reading then, ah, okay, this is very good. This is the Three of Pentacles. Pentacles are value, worth, uh, could be money, but usually some sort of value. And uh, this card indicates working together for something that's uh, for public display. Well, that's certainly what's happening here. This is the uh, monarchy uh, led by... Um, at this moment, uh, Prince Charles uh, doing something together for public display. Of course, that's the Commonwealth Service. Interesting. It's amazing how accurate um, the cards come for specific questions. Now, the past this reading, of course, this is uh, the, the Four Swords, Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, Law. And uh, this a card indicates you know, taking a rate, a, a weight, taking a beat, uh, taking a rest. And, uh, and that's exactly what's happening here. The Queen uh, is. I suppose been advised uh, not to uh, go, to take a break. In the sky, this reading is uh, illusion and delusion. This is the Seven of Cups, and uh, and so these are all the different uh, options, uh, all the different things uh, that are available uh, in this choice. And so obviously one of these things uh, that's available is for the Queen to let someone else carry out this particular function at this particular time. And then the <clears throat> likely outcome for the first part of this, this dyadic cross, is a chariot, things uh, happening at a rapid pace. Major Arcana, number seven. It happens to be number seven just like this is in the sky. So in the sky is um, uh, a lot of choices, a lot of things to choose from. And here we have number seven in the chariot, things happening at a rapid pace. Let's hope it's not anything bad, but uh, we're going to definitely need uh, four more cards to get some sort of a more definite answer out of this. So four more cards. The Queen, not at the Commonwealth service. What can the cards tell us about that? Four cards. I think we'll do this like this. Okay, the um, self of that very question, the queen not at the commonwealth service, and the self of that question is the queen herself. Look at this, the empress. Wow. So I wonder if this was the decision that uh, the queen uh, took herself. Hmm. Um, the environment that that's in, though, is right here. This is the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight is the member of the royal family who's going to fight for the value uh, that uh, that he's been given to fight for. Okay. Um, in this instance, it kind of seems to me that this would be Charles, but uh, we'll give this a minute to stew. Okay. The hopes and the fears. Strength. Hopes and the fears. Having the strength to come through it. And then the final outcome for the Queen not attending the Commonwealth Service 
is the lovers. Uh, this is a, uh, and this is Major Arcana. Again, this is a number six, so just below the number seven. And uh, this is partnerships, pairings, perfect pairings, really. Uh, and that would be, I'm going to guess, the senior monarchs. I guess only Queen Elizabeth is the monarch. Um, Charles is the monarch in waiting, you know. So this is the perfect pairing uh, coming together to accomplish that task. Let's just go through it again, just to be clear. So uh, tell us what you can about the Queen uh, not being uh, at the Commonwealth celebration. And right off the bat, we get the Hierophant. Uh, in this case, I think this is having to do with the uh, monarchy, maybe with uh, an assist by the government. And the, the uh, challenge to that is the King of Cups. That's Charles. I wonder if Charles could be saying to the Queen, Mom, take a break. Let me take care of this for you. You don't have to exert yourself. Let's hope that's the conversation. In the base of this reading, that the whole foundation of all of this is working together for something of public display. And that's what uh, the royals are doing. They're knitting together right now to make sure everything gets carried out for the public. The responsibilities of that uh, monarch. In the past, this reading, well, this is the Four of Swords, one, two, three, four. This shows you don't get up at your peril. This is the queen being advised, stay down, take a break. Let other people do the things um, uh, that you don't necessarily have to do. In the sky this reading, all the choices that we have, number seven uh, of the uh, major arcana, and the likely outcome for this is this uh, chariot. Things happening at a rapid pace, also number seven. It's not the major arcana. I'm sorry. This is the seven of cups. And this is the major arcana, things having a rapid pace. You just have to forgive me uh, sometimes. I just get ahead of myself. Um, now, the um, last four cards of this is what's the very self of that question? The queen not being at the Commonwealth service? Well, we have the queen herself, the empress, major arcana number three. Uh, the environment that that's in is this knight of value. This knight has to be Charles. He says, Mom, I'll carry this weight for you. I'll carry this value for you uh, right now. Uh, the hopes and the fears, of course, is the strength. The strength to get a thing done is, is perfectly positioned as both a hope and a fear. And then the likely outcome is just a continued uh, loving a partnership of uh, those around her to get the job done. I think it's a perfect reading. I think the Queen just is better advised, just like they've been telling us, to take a break, take a rest, let others do the heavy lifting. It doesn't seem like a heavy lift, but she's 95 years old. She's just recently come out of uh, coronavirus. Uh, is it the second time? It's at least the first time. And uh, I think it's a perfect reading. It's just simple. It's exactly what we expect it to be. The cards are always interesting. I can never, I could never have guessed, uh, you know, the outcome that we'd have. So I hope you uh, like that. If you did, uh, give me some comments. Let me know what you thought. I'll, I'm always anxious to read what you're doing. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Okay, so this is the newest deck I've got. This is the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. Um, it's just another take on uh, from Los Scarbio on um, the um, the classic Rider Waite Tarot. But uh, apparently this person wise has had their input into it. And uh, the, what I love about it, first of all, it's got a great container. I always feel like what I think of when I open these containers is if I got this as a gift, what would I think about it? And I think, well, this is very nice. When you get into the box, I mean, it gives you a hint right from the beginning what you're going to see. It's a close-up of the cards in kind of rich color with kind of a, a tinged uh, overtone to kind of give it an antique look, in my opinion. Anyway, the cards themselves, I'll go over, but I want to tell you first about the instruction booklet. And you know, it's a typical instruction booklet that you get with any of these decks it's in a few different languages, and it just gives you some basic uh, uh, meanings of how to divide the cards. But what's good about it and is that it gives you a really terrific uh, synopsis of uh, how uh, this uh, uh, rider weight uh, system was developed and when and by who. It talks a, a little enough about author weight and Pamela Coleman Smith who were the creators of this and the Kabbalistic uh, theory and history of all of that. Um, it, is, uh, it gives you a real quick mention about the Golden Dawn, which is very significant to the development of these cards. And then it gives you a really great little section about, about how to read the tarot and storytelling through the cards. So I like the little book. I mean, it's nothing earth shattering. It's not information that most people don't know, but it is uh, interesting. Now the cards themselves, they got a cool back. They're kind of shiny and... Um, you're going to see that kind of what they are is like they've kind of made a close-up of the typical tarot uh, images and then colored them in very vibrantly and then oversprayed the whole thing with sort of an antique -y kind of a, a feel. 
So they're great for me. I've got a few uh, vision problems, and so in that they're close up, but they're still vibrant with color. And I think these are going to look great on the camera. Uh, I like to uh, spread the cards out like this for a couple of reasons. One is it's a good way to show you uh, more than a couple of cards that you get to see in a typical tarot drawing. And that's something that I always wanted to see. I wanted to know more about what the cards I was looking at before I was making the videos. And number two, it's a good way to um, shuffle the cards up without damaging them too much. And if you're reading for someone else, then there's a third uh, benefit, is that you can let someone else do this kind of spread around if they're not comfortable with making a shuffle. or, or And then you kind of get their energy into the cards. So this is the uh, Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. And I just like them a lot. So this will be my newest deck. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.